Okay, so I have to refilm my January favorites because apparently the first video I filmed, I'm like in the middle of editing it and then it disappears. So I don't know what happened to this one, but um, I have to uh, redo this one. But that's okay, it's okay because I loves to you and I'm gonna do it because I loves to you. So I've been loving Revlon lip butters. Um, these are super, 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 super hydrating. Um... I heard that they're nothing like the L'Oreal lip balms, so honestly, I can't sit here and be like, oh, they're just like blah, 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 because they're really not. Um, these are much more pigmented, as you can tell. That was like one, two, three. Swatch. Super bright. This is probably my favorite color out of the two, four, six that I own. I now own six. From my last haul, I only owned four. I picked up two more because <laughs> um, I really love them that much. Um, this is probably my favorite color, and this one is Lollipop. Of course, it's the pink one. It would be, right? Because of this dry lip issue, this is my favorite chapstick at the moment. It's the, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the packaging because it's so bright. Um, but it's the Blistex 5 Star Lip Protection. And I got this, um, I think I got it at Walgreens when they were having a sale or something. Um, but it's just a regular colored chapstick. There's nothing special to it, so I can't swatch it. But it has SPF 30 in it, which is like, whoa, hello. Usually lip balms are like SPF 15, 20 at the most. So I was like, damn, SPF 30, holy moly. This is so creamy on the lips and it lasts for a while. Um, some lip balms, like, you know, since it's so dry and so cold outside, like, it kind of just fades after a while. This one lasts pretty long, so I really like that. Favorite mascara of the moment is the MAC um, False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. I mentioned this in my last haul, I believe, that I've really, really been loving this mascara. It's the one with the weird top on it. And then the brush is nothing super special. Um, I just really like the brush because it really gets into my lashes. So if you can tell, the bristles, even though the brush itself is just okay, the bristles are really, really close together. So that's really been helping, like, really feather into my lashes. So I've been really, really liking this. Um, another good thing is it lasts for heck of long. It doesn't, like, flake off. But at the same time, it's soup like it wears like it's water resistant. And then at the same time, it's not really hard to take off. So I, I love that because I hate mascara that's like super hard to take off because most of the mascara I own is waterproof and it's oh, it's a pain in the ass to take off. Um, but it's one of the only mascaras like waterproof is like one of the only formulas. I mean, that holds a curl for me. Um, but for some reason, I don't even need to curl my lashes when I use this. So, And I have like short, stick straight lashes. So if that's the kind of lashes you have, and a lot of the mascaras that I've recommended to you guys in the past have worked, I think you're going to like this one. Um, next eye product I've been loving are the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadows. This one in particular is Bad to the Bronze. I have, let me see. Let's see how many I have. Two, four, six. I have eight of them. The ones that I don't own are Pomegranate Punk and the purple one. I don't know what it's called. Something purple. So I have four four favorites out of the eight that I own. Um, one of them is Tough as Taupe, which is what I'm wearing on my lid today. And I did a tutorial on it, so a tutorial will be coming up for that. Um, I also like Edgy Emerald, which is like the minty green one. It reminds me a little bit of Rolick and Paint Pot. Um, this is Rolickin Paint Pot next to Edgy Emerald. They're very, very similar. Um, Rolickin, however, unlike Edgy Emerald, it doesn't have a huge shimmer to it. If I can get the shit open. Oh, um, this I believe was from the Foffy collection. So if you weren't able to um, pick that up, then I would definitely get Edgy Emerald. So it's a really, it's a really, really good dupe for that. Um, the only difference is like the shimmer factor. Like Rolickin doesn't have as much shimmer, but I don't even think it would matter if you're putting an eyeshadow on top of it. Okay. And then my next favorite is Bad to the Bronze, which is the one that I just showed you earlier. This one I really, really like. It's perfect for, like, everyday looks. It's something that you just want to kind of slap on your lid and then just blend. It's really, really pretty. And then um, recent favorite, which I just picked up recently, is Tenacious Teal. I love any teal, aqua blue type of eyeshadow, and this is no exception. Um, this and Bad to the Bronze was featured in my last eye tutorial. And then last makeup product that I've been loving is Clinique's Even Better Foundation. Um, original price tag for this foundation is like $26 and I got it for about $17. Um, has a twist off and a pump right there. Not a pump, but like a squeezy tube. I really, really love this foundation. I'll be explaining it further in a future review. Um, but in the meantime, what I do want to say is that it gives amazing, amazing coverage, and it literally has made a huge difference in my skin. 
Um, so that's what I'm loving about it so far. Um, I'll explain more in the review, but so far this is my favorite foundation of the month. Favorite face product of the month is this Freeman um, face mask, and it's a cucumber face mask. It's one of the peel-off style ones. It's a little weird for me personally because I'm used to kind of um, using the lush, fresh, fresh face masks where you kind of like scrub it into your skin and then rinse it off. Um, but this one's pretty nice. You apply it to your face, leave it on for like 5 or 10 minutes it says, and then you peel it off. And then you rinse it off with warm water, like whatever residue is left. Um, it smells pretty nice. It smells really refreshing. Some masks are like so disgusting, like the smells like, ugh. <laughs> um, but I got this in my My Glam bag. So I got it in my January My Glam bag. Um, I actually got sent two My Glam bags, so I have two of these. So lucky for me, I have a backup. Um, so I was kind of happy about that. I was very excited because I really, really did end up liking this. Um, I recently tried a mask that was in my birch box and it broke me out. I was pissed and this like cleared it up. Um, you can even see some like bumps left from it and this like is clearing it up because this was like crazy. Huh. I was upset clearly because y'all know how I feel about my skin. Okay, you know I take care of this mug. Next face thing I've been loving is this um, Purity, not Purity, I'm sorry, Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash from Philosophy. I think I've mentioned this once or twice before, but I'm not sure. Um, but it came in a set that I got for $25. I had tweeted it. Um, it came with the Purity Face Wash. It came with this. Um, it also came with the moisturizer, the um, Hope in a Jar, and a lip gloss. So all that for $25. Amazing. So it comes out kind of like that. Leave. Um, and there's like these litter, little, 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 like super, super micro little like beads, like exfoliating beads. Like it's a little bit gritty, um, but it's not hella harsh on your skin. So you basically like just massage it into your skin for anywhere from like 30 seconds to a minute and then you rinse it off. And I swear to God, your skin will feel so effing soft. It's really been helping me, helping my skin like glow a lot more. Um, in the winter, my skin gets a little bit dreary, my skin tone changes, it gets lighter, it's not as tan anymore. So I, I'm really, really like doing anything and everything to get my J-Lo glow back. This one is the Triple Moisture Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. Um, and this is in the scent Paris Amour. Paris Amour is like my favorite Bath & Body scent ever, ever since it came out. Uh, my next favorite one is P.S. I Love You, but I have been loving Paris and more ever since it came out. This feels so amazing on your skin. It's really nice and thick. Um, if you guys have ever tried Cetaphil, the one in the tub, um, it's similar to that kind of consistency. It's so, so creamy and so, so hydrating, and it lasts all day. I'm usually not big on fragrance lotions or anything. The only fragrance lotion I use is like body butters, um, just because I have Keratosis Polaris on my skin, which is KP. And then, in addition to that, because my skin's been dry, um, it's been getting a little bit, not flaky, but, you know, just really dry. Like, not as soft anymore, so it's really irritating me. Um, I've been loving this scrub to fix that. And this is um, Grapefruit, Lime, and Mint. It's like an energizing scrub. Oh, or they call it a body polish, I should say. It looks like that. I've been using this for about two or three months now. It's probably not even halfway. Like, probably like right here because you don't need a lot but this has like my skin has been loving this stuff so if I could purchase this like all the time I hella would um but unfortunately I think it's discontinued which is why it was in the semi-annual because it was like a product that I guess wasn't too successful which kind of saddens me because I love it so much and I was like um hello it was a success for me Ugh, whatever favorite um shampoo conditioner and hair treatment in general um right now is from Organics and it's the Moroccan Argan Oil and it really makes a huge difference in my hair. Ah, oh, love it. Um, and the treatment is the the treatment that I've been loving is the Intense Moisturizing. Yeah, moisturizing treatment. It's basically their hair mask and I think you leave it on for like 10 minutes, 5 or 10 minutes, something like that. Mm, 3 to 5 minutes. Oh, hello. I usually leave it in for like 5. Okay, so. non-makeup related things. Um, Okay, so I don't know, let me see, where is my phone? I can't find my phone. My phone. My phone, my phone. Where's my phone? My favorite app of the month. Um, I never do this because, um, I don't know, I guess I just, I, I mean, I use a lot of apps, but a lot of them are like the social ones that everybody else uses, like, you know, Facebook and shit like that. <laughs> um, but these are my two favorite apps right now. Number one is Keyring. Um, I've mentioned this before on Twitter. 
and keyring, you can have like all your different um, rewards cards all on the same app. And then, like for example, let's go to my CVS Care one. Um, it'll tell you like if there's like a special offer or whatever at the store. Like for example, um, if th this even applied to me. It says 10 to 75% off on prescription. And then when you tap on the barcode, it has the barcode for you. Now sometimes, what I've noticed is that some stores don't have, like for some reason can't scan. Or sometimes a cashier is just like so not like high tech. <laughs> and would be like, um, I can't scan this, ma'am. And I'm like, yes, you can. Like, watch me. And I'll put it under the thing, and it goes beep. And they're like, oh, that's new. I'm like, no, you just must be old. I have literally all of them. So it makes it so convenient because my, like, my keys are so much lighter now. It's crazy. Because I used to get so irritated, like, that my keys were heavy because I'd have all the little key tags on it. And then my next favorite app that I've absolutely been loving, like, I'm so sorry. This is, like, my my favorite app right now and this is gonna be so nerdy of me but I don't even care um, if you can see oh well you can kind of see most of it um, and it's the my fitness pal app sorry that's like my login for today so basically okay let's see ha ha oops there you go okay so for example right every day you log in what you eat so basically when you first start the app you you know you create an account whatever you log into it um, you you put your starting weight your goal weight um, how often you exercise what your daily activity is like etc etc it's like a little mini survey of them logging in like your profile and um, what it does is like you can add all your different things that you eat like it'll put you on a strict not diet or anything but just your goal calories how much you should be eating a day so for example mine is 1200 and um all this is kind of hard to explain it'll explain it further in the app but this is how many i have left in the day um, i worked out this morning which you can also log in you can log in like what you worked out what you did um i did 30 minutes of cardio and some crunches um I had a 390 calorie lunch, which is hella good. Um, to me, 1200 calories didn't seem like it seems like so little because honestly, like y'all know I eat like a fat kid. Okay. I love food. So I'm going to do a whole separate video on my whole like lifestyle change or whatever. Um, but basically the fitness app, pal, like the fitness pal app, like teaches you or kind of like helps you keep track of things. So it's like a little diary. It teaches you how to keep track of things. Um, once you complete um once you complete uh an entry it'll do like a little mini calculation for you and it'll tell you like oh based on how you ate today and how you worked out today etc cetera, etc cetera, this is how much you would weigh if you continued this way for like the next five weeks or so and i really i really really like that because it encourages progress in your body um so like every time it tells me how much i could weigh if i kept going like this like it it like literally kind of triggers something in my brain like um hey Again, I'll talk more about that in a whole nother video, but I've really, really been loving this app. It's It's been amazing. Um, I guess that's just the health nut in me. I really, I, I don't know. Um, and speaking of, you know, healthy working out and whatnot, this is my favorite at-home workout of the moment. Um, sometimes I don't have a means to get to the gym or I just got so much shit going on that it's just easier for me to kind of squeeze in like a 20, 30 minute workout at home. Um, I have like a little mini home gym here, like, you know, I have my weights, I have my yoga mat, I have my Pilates stuff. Um, I have little things, you know, that I can use to like work out at home. Um, but I've really, really been loving Jillian Michaels. This bitch will kick your ass. I'm not joking, like this 30 day shred is amazing. I haven't tried any of her other videos, but I hear so many good things about her. Um, and 30, the 30 day shred is crazy, like, OMG. Um, so it basically has three different workouts, um, or three different levels of workouts. And each one, of course, is, um, is 20 minutes long, 20 minutes long. So it, she has this whole like three, two, one system or whatever. It explains it further in the back. Um, but I'm not joking. 20 minutes with this bitch and you will be crying and you'll be like, fuck this bitch, will whoop my ass. Um, but you'll feel so good and you will literally feel it the next day you know you'll be like shit my arms hella hurt right now like oh my god my legs feel like jello like she does a specific kind of um a specific way of training you I don't know but it's crazy 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 I mean the whole 20 pounds in 30 days I don't know about that but shit if you like stuck to this for 30 days and that happened you let me know because that's a t that's the test you know 
a testimonial that this shit works. Um, but otherwise, I've been doing it for like maybe two weeks, like on and off. Well, two weeks total, I should say, because I go to the gym, you know, and sometimes I like run around my block or whatever. But if if I don't feel like going to the gym or whatever, this is like my, my workout. Um, so I've never consistently done it for a month, obviously, because I have a gym membership. But definitely, if you don't want to invest in a gym membership, I would definitely invest in this for sure, for sure. It's amazing. <sighs> okay, last geeky thing that I've been loving is my Kindle. I know this is really geeky of me, but I don't really care. Um, I got a Kindle for Christmas from Panda's mom. I adore it. I think this is the second one or the first one. I don't really remember, but I don't really care either. Um, oh, where do you unlock it? There you go. Okay, so you unlock it on the middle. I have to like... I kind of wish that it was touch screen though because I'm, that's just what I'm kind of used to to be honest with you but I don't mind that I have to like navigate it like this way or whatever like it doesn't really matter so I have magazines I have books all kinds of stuff um the kindle fire I know is hell of amazing but I'm not tripping like knowing that I got this as a gift in the first place was amazing for me personally um so I've been loving my kindle again I don't know if that's just the nerd in me but whatever okay Last healthy thing that I've been loving, I don't know, I wouldn't really call it healthy, but I've just really been on this whole, like, not health kick, but, you know, eating better and, um, you know, just living a healthier lifestyle. Um, like I said, I eat like a fat kid, okay? So, I have been trying to find alternatives to some of my favorite things. Um, one of them being cookies. <laughs> um, I always have a cr weird craving, like a weird sweet craving for cookies, especially chocolate chip cookies, and then I also have cravings for chips. Like, if there is one snack I could choose in the whole wide world, it would be chips. Like, I love chips. I don't know. That's just like my favorite thing. So I had to find something obviously because that shit is fattening for you. It is all bad. All kinds of bad. Um, so I had to find something that was kind of a nice like in-betweener that wouldn't like hella, you know, kill, you know, my, my progress. <laughs> um, and it is these like little Nabisco 100 calorie packs. And this one is a Chip Ahoy one in particular. Have you guys ever had that cereal cookie crisp? That used to be one of my favorite cereals when I was a kid. Like, I would never eat it as a cereal. I would eat them as, like, little baby cookies. Um, so this kind of reminds me of that. I really, really like them. They're basically, um. like, Chip Ahoy cookie crisps. That's basically what they are. Um, and knowing that one whole pack... There's actually quite a lot in here. Um, like, one pack has quite a few crisps in there. Um, and I usually stick these in my purse so that, like, if I'm running around or something and I get hungry, I can just snack on one of these. I've really been liking these. I don't know. Again, just a little healthier person in me talking. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for my favorites, and I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.